So Stack Overflow, yeah, remember them? Everybody's favorite Q&A site for programming. Well, it's now common knowledge that they saw usage plummet since the advent of ChatGPT and integrated AI coding assistants like Copilot. Google Cloud will now have answers from Stack Overflow integrated directly into their cloud console, given that Stack Overflow will feed into the Google Gemini model. And Stack Overflow will use Google Gemini via the Vertex AI service from Google Cloud to bolster the Stack Overflow public site, as well as their other products like Stack Overflow for Teams. So with all the talk of Stack Overflow's steep decline, will this be enough to save them? Well, let's find out. I'm Saeed the Codegrammer and I talk about important AI tech and programming news on this channel. So make sure you subscribe to stay up to date. All right, so Stack Overflow as part of their work under the banner of Overflow AI are launching their API and the very first partnership is with Google to feed into their much hyped Gemini AI model, which I talked about in another video if you wanna know more about that. This integration will allow you to see high quality answers to questions that you might be looking for right in the Google Cloud console. Now, crucially, this is not an exclusive partnership and I'm surprised that Google being Google and in the position they're in didn't manage to negotiate such exclusivity. Maybe they tried and they failed, but whenever you launch something big, it's quite useful to select a major launch partner. I don't think it's been disclosed how much they've paid for this action access and whether they paid a premium for being the first major partner is significant for Stack Overflow because we know that their main asset is their high quality curated answers, which you can have a pretty high degree of confidence in due to the peer voting and reputation system. And we know that LLMs like ChatGPT have already been trained on Stack Overflow data. So this is really a case of charging for things which have to a significant degree been gleaned for free already. A bit like trying to collect license fees for your software tool, which companies have been using for free anyway. So Stack Overflow needs to, in this climate, try to stay relevant and ensure that it continues to get paid. So to work with these new power players in the AI space is a smart move in my opinion. It's incredibly useful when training an LLM to have high quality sources of information like Stack Overflow can provide probably better than any other resource on the internet. And whilst you can get most of it from scraping, it could be a lot more useful to have a reliable integration. So what exactly is Overflow AI, the umbrella under which all of this is happening? Well, they put out a nice announcement in July 2023 about how under the umbrella of Overflow AI, they will start to add features and improvements to their public site in say search and question improvement areas and seeing AI generated answers to questions by drawing from actual answers on the site with references to the Q&A that provided that information. They talked about adding it to Stack Overflow for Teams and even IDE integrations. But as far as I can tell, they've not publicly delivered much of any significance since the announcement. Let me know in the comments below if you know different and have been using any of these AI improvements. Maybe this lack of meaningful releases has been down to the upheaval of losing so much market share and likely as a result of lost revenue and staff departures. Keep in mind that ChatGPT first arrived on the scene at the end of November 2022. Since then, as we'll touch on in more detail, Stack Overflow has been losing traffic. It's not just because of ChatGPT, but also tools like Copilot, Code Whisperer, JetBrains, AI Assistant, and more. Not to mention many people talking about the toxic culture of the Q&A site, especially for inexperienced or new developers. So Stack Overflow was bought by Process in 2021 for a whopping $1.8 billion. Process is a subsidiary of Naspers, a South African company. And how much do you think Stack Overflow is worth now? Process might actually be regretting the decision to buy Stack Overflow. Now, of course, the value will have taken a hit, but I don't think it's a complete write-off for Stack Overflow. If they can embed themselves into the new ecosystem of information delivery, that in its current form is sadly first consumed and then vomited out by these AI chatbots without really paying a penny to the contributors. So last year, there was a lot of talk of Stack Overflow's traffic and usage experiencing a steep decline. While looking at these charts from this blog post, you can see that usage is majorly down, but it only goes as far as July 2023. And if you look here, you can see the decline. You can see the decline in votes, in posts, all kinds of metrics, and they don't look good. Now, there's an important caveat here that some of the decline was due to cookie reorganization at Google in May 2022. But these charts now only include data after that, whereas this chart here probably doesn't take that into account and makes it look actually worse than it is. Now, looking at these charts, it's important to remember that ChatGPT came out in November 20. 2022. Now, if I look anecdotally at my own usage, someone who used Stack Overflow a lot, I would say that I'm probably down on Stack Overflow usage by about 90%. I mainly use ChatGPT with a subscription and I also pay for Copilot, which I use with IntelliJ Idea. Now, only if I don't get the answer from these two options will I usually go and Google something or check Stack Overflow. And I'm really interested to know what your flow looks like. If you're a developer, do you go straight to Google or Stack Overflow or do you use AI like me? If you don't mind sharing, that would be really interesting. 
Now, in this tweet here where Mahesh mentions the decline, he talks about the fact that the decline started earlier than ChatGPT's release. And he says that reading through the comments, I can see a lot of people express their frustration with Stack Overflow, primarily due to the toxicity they experienced there. So could that be a possible contributor to their decline? I'm personally not sure. I'd be interested to know what you think in the comments below. So major usage declines are often unfortunately followed by layoffs. Prashant Chagrasika, the CEO of Stack Overflow, announced that they are laying off 28% of their staff. This was in October 2023. So with around 500 staff at the time, after a doubling of headcount in 2022, they had around 500 employees. So that would mean approximately 100 to 150 people. Now, this was towards the end of 2023, so I'm not sure if there's been more let go since then. But if we look a little bit further back to May 2023, we can see that they laid off 10% of their staff or 58 people at the time. So in terms of all the things that could cause this decline, we've already talked about toxicity. And of course, it's most likely to be around the AI products like ChatGPT. And now there are many others like Bard and Perplexity, etc. The assortment of coding assistance that you can embed right inside your IDE. And with these code generators backed by LLMs getting better and better, and integrated right into your IDE and workspace with things like ChatGPT or Copilot, it doesn't really leave much room for Stack Overflow's old world approach of search and serve answers. So where exactly does this leave them in terms of a path to profitability or a business model? Well, they have a few limited options and limited amount of time to play their cards before they become completely irrelevant. I think they can embed themselves in a new ecosystem and sell their data, which is incidentally your data as a contributor, but that's no different to Facebook, Instagram X and all the other social media platforms except that this is more specialized, so perhaps gigabyte for gigabyte a lot more valuable. So I'm sure that they can charge a small premium for their data. I say small because if they price themselves out of the market, it may be easier just to scrape all the content and deal with any legal challenges in due course. Now, if you're interested in more discussion about this, I highly recommend checking out the Reddit post with lots of interesting comments below and lots of people joking about how their questions get closed and shut down and marked as duplicates. There's also some interesting discussion on Hacker News, which I'll put links to in the description below. So with all of that, I really don't know the future of Stack Overflow, but I think 